Earthbed. Good day learners, this is Earthpen. For today's topic, we are going to learn how to add and subtract polynomial. Before we learn how to solve polynomials, let's define first what polynomials are. Polynomials are algebraic expressions that contain any number of terms combined using the operators like addition and subtraction. These are some examples of polynomials. Also, polynomials with only one term are called monomial. Polynomials with two terms are called binomial. And if it has three terms, it is called trinomial. So in this example, 5 is monomial, x minus 10 is binomial, and 7x squared minus 4x plus 5 is trinomial. Now how to add polynomials? To add polynomials, all we have to do is to combine all the like terms together. But what is like terms? Like terms are terms that contain the same variables raised to the same power. These are some examples of like terms. Notice that they have the same variable which is x and they have the same exponents which is 2. So as what I said earlier, to add polynomials all we have to do is add all the like terms. For example, we have a polynomial 3x squared plus 7x minus 5 added to a polynomial 2x squared plus 3x. So, we need to identify first the like terms. So, in this problem, 3x squared and 2x squared are like terms. And 7x and 3x are also like terms. Let's place like terms together. So now it will look like this. To add this, all we have to do is to add the number of parts of the like terms and then copy the variable. So 3x squared plus 2x squared is equal to 5x squared and 7x plus 3x is equal to 10x. And since number 5 doesn't have like terms, then we just need to copy it together with the sign. So the polynomial will now become 5x squared plus 10x minus 5. Now let's have another example. Add these three polynomials. Again, let's combine all the like terms. So in this problem, 3x squared and 4x squared are like terms. And 4xy negative 5xy and 7xy are also like terms. Therefore, it will now look like this. And then let's add the number of parts of the like terms and copy the variable. So 3x squared plus 4x squared is equal to 7x squared. 4xy minus 5xy plus 7xy is equal to 6xy. For the terms that don't have like terms, we just need to copy it together with their signs. So the answer is 7x squared plus 6xy plus 7y minus x plus 5. Now let's try subtracting polynomials. For example, we have a polynomial 6y squared plus 3xy minus 10 subtracted to the polynomial 3y squared plus 3xy minus 4. First thing we have to do is just rewrite the expression on the left side which is the 6y squared plus 3xy minus 10. And then for the right side which has a negative sign, we just need to distribute the negative sign to every term of the expression. So it will become negative 3y squared minus 3xy plus 4. Therefore, it will now look like this. So after distributing the negative sign, we can now combine all the like terms and perform the operation. 
6y squared minus 3y squared is equal to 3y squared and then 3xy minus 3xy is equal to 0 and negative 10 plus 4 is equal to negative 6 so our answer is this Now, let's try to have a word problem involving polynomials. A house has a triangular roof. Find the perimeter of the triangular roof if the measurements of the sides are 5x squared plus 3x plus 1, 6x plus 2, and 6x plus 2. To find the perimeter of a triangle, all we have to do is to add all the sides of the triangle. Since the formula of the perimeter of the triangle is B is equal to A plus B plus C. It is stated in the problem that the sides of the triangle are 5x squared plus 3x plus 1, 6x plus 2, and 6x plus 2. Therefore, we can just add all these given measurements to get the perimeter. So, the equation will look like this. And then, we all know that to add polynomials, we need to combine like terms first. So, in this problem, 3x, 6x, and 6x are like terms. And 1, 2, and 2 are also like terms. Therefore, add them all and we can get a perimeter of 5x squared plus 15x plus 5. So now before I end this video, I want to give you an exercise. This is very easy and I know you can answer this. Add these polynomials. 10x squared plus 4x plus 1. 2x squared plus 1x plus 2 and 8x squared plus 2x plus 2. I will give you 30 seconds to answer this. Time starts now. Okay, time's up. The correct answer is 20x squared plus 7x plus 5. I know you got it, right? So that's it guys. Did you enjoy our topic for today? I hope you learned a lot on how to add and subtract polynomials. Also, you can watch our other video tutorials here in our channel. Once again, this is Earth. Learning has never been this easy for anyone, anywhere. Have a nice day.